Hello everyone! In this video, we're going to discuss and solve problems involving derivatives of exponential function for variable with variable exponent. So solving for the derivatives of exponential functions wherein a variable is raised to a variable, the technique in here is to take the logarithm on both sides, right? So take the logarithm on both sides before differentiating. On both sides before differentiating. Alright, so say for example that we are given an exponential function wherein we have y equals x raised to a variable, say for example x, before we solve for y prime in here, we're going to take the logarithm on both sides first so that we can bring down this variable exponent from the property of logarithm ln of a raised to a certain constant or a variable, this is equal to k ln of a. So if we're going to apply this property in this one, we now have the natural logarithm of y is now equal to x ln of x. So after taking the logarithm on both sides, we now differentiate both sides with respect to x, right? And then solving for y prime. So let us solve this function, y equals x raised to x, and we're going to determine y prime in a step-by-step -step manner, right? So since this is a variable raised to a variable, then the first step here is to take the natural logarithm on both sides. So if this is ln of y, then this would be ln of x raised to x. Now this one, we're going to use the property ln of a raised to k, wherein this would be equal to k ln of a. So this is now equal to the natural logarithm of y equals x ln of x. Now taking the derivative of both sides with respect to x, so if we're going to take the derivative with respect to x of both sides, this would now be the derivative with respect to x of ln of y, and this would now be the derivative with respect to x of x multiplied by ln of x. Of course, we're going to apply the different formulas that we have discussed in our previous discussion. So this one, x ln of x is in the form of u multiplied by v. And this one is in the form of ln of u, right? So for the derivative of ln of u, so that would now be the derivative with respect to x of u, and our u in this function is equal to y, so that would be y, all over u, so that would now be equal to y. And this is now equal to the derivative of a product is equal to u, all right? So our u in here would be x, if this is our u and this is our v, then the derivative of x ln of x would now be x derivative with respect to x of ln of x plus ln of x derivative with respect to x of x. Right? Now, solving further, so this would now be equal to dy over dx all over y. Right? Now, notice that dy over dx is already equal to y prime and this is now equal to x multiplied by the derivative of ln of x, so the derivative of 1, of x, I should say, is equal to 1 all over u, and our u in here is equal to x, so that would be 1 over x, plus ln of x multiplied by the derivative of x with respect to x, so that's equal to 1. Now, x will cancel out with this one, thus, this would now be equal to 1 plus ln of x. However, this is not yet the final answer because the left side here is dy over dx all over y. Now, to get rid of that y, we're going to multiply both sides by 1 over, or we're going to multiply both sides by y. And if we're going to multiply this side with y, we now have dy over dx. So this is now equal to y multiplied by 1 plus ln of x. And if we're going to write the answer in terms of x, y is given to be 
x raised to x. So this is x raised to x. Therefore, our final answer in terms of x would now be equal to x raised to x multiplied by 1 plus the natural logarithm of x. So this is now our final answer. For our second example, we are given y equals x raised to e raised to x and then we're going to solve for y prime. So again, the first step in here is to take the natural logarithm on both sides. So that would now be ln of y equals ln of x raised to e raised to x. And from the property of logarithm, this can be written as e raised to x multiplied by ln of x. And this is now equal to ln of y. Right? Now, taking the derivative with respect to x of both sides... So, the derivative of ln of y would be dy over dx, all over y, right, from ln of u. And this one, this is in the form of u times v, wherein u is e raised to x and v is ln of x. Therefore, the derivative of e raised to x, ln of x, is now equal to e raised to x multiplied with the derivative with respect to x of ln of x plus ln of x multiplied by the derivative with respect to x of e raised to x. So solving further, we now have e raised to x. The derivative of ln of x is 1 over x plus ln of x. The derivative of e raised to x is e raised to x multiplied by the derivative of u, which is x. So that would now be equal to 1. Simplifying this, we now have e raised to x all over x plus e raised to x multiplied by ln of x. And if we're going to bring out e raised to x in here, we now have e raised to x multiplied by 1 over x plus ln of x. Right? So solving for dy over dx, by the way, this is dy over dx all over y, so we're going to multiply both sides by y. Thus, dy over dx would now be equal to y e raised to x multiplied by, if we're going to combine these two terms, we now have x, right? So LCD is equal to x, and this would now be 1 plus x ln of x. Now, y is given to be x times e raised to x, so if we're going to substitute y equals x times e raised to x, in this given expression, we now have x e raised to x multiplied by e raised to x multiplied by 1 plus x ln of x all over x. Now, this expression can be written as x e raised to x multiplied by e raised to x multiplied by 1 plus x ln of x all over x. Now, since we have x in the numerator and we also have x in the denominator, we can apply loss of exponent in here, right? So, same base, we have x multiplied by e raised to x minus 1 because the exponent of x in the denominator is equal to 1, multiplied by e raised to x, multiplied by 1, plus x ln of x. So this is now dy over dx in a single line expression. Let's have another example here. We are given y equals x raised to ln of x, and then we're going to solve for y prime. So again, the technique is to get the natural or to take the natural logarithm on both sides. So this would now be ln of y multiplied by ln of x raised to ln of x. So applying the property of logarithm in this side, this is now ln of y equals ln of x multiplied by ln of x. Or this is equal to ln of x quantity squared. So this is now the natural logarithm of y. So solving for the derivative with respect to x on both sides, 
Alright, so this is u raised to n. We're going to use the power formula there. This would now be dy over dx all over y. And this is now equal to 2 ln of x multiplied by the derivative with respect to x of ln of x. Alright, so if we're going to recall, the derivative with respect to x of u raised to n, this is equal to n, u raised to n minus 1, du over dx. Our n in here is 2, our u is ln of x, n minus 1 is equal to 1, multiplied by the derivative of ln of x. So this is now equal, right, so this is now equal to 2, ln of x multiplied by the derivative of ln of x, which is equal to 1 over x. And if we're going to write this one in this way, so 2 ln of x all over x, this is now equal to dy over dx all over y. Now solving for dy over dx, we're going to multiply both sides by y. So we have dy over dx equals y. 2 ln of x over x. However, y is equal to x raised to ln of x, right? So if we're going to go back to our given here, y is equal to x ln of x. So if we're going to substitute that one, we now have x raised to ln of x multiplied by 2 ln of x all over x. If we're going to express the resulting expression in a single line expression, x ln of x over x can be simplified by x ln of x minus 1. Right? So this is by loss of exponent since we have the same base in here. And 2 ln of x can be written as ln of x squared from the property of logarithm. So this would now be our dy over dx. For our fourth example here, we are given y equals ln of x, right? So this is quantity ln of x raised to x, and we're going to solve for y prime. Now, in doing that, we're going to take the natural logarithm on both sides, so we can bring down this uh, variable exponent here, so that would now be ln of ln of x raised to x and by properties of logarithm this can be written as x ln of ln of x right we're in the argument in this natural logarithm is the whole natural logarithm of x so solving for the derivative with respect to x of both sides this side is in the form of u times v therefore the derivative with respect to x of ln of y is dy over dx all over y. And this is now equal to applying the formula for derivative of a product that is now x multiplied by the derivative with respect to x of ln of, ln of x plus ln of ln of x multiplied by the derivative with respect to x of x. So this is now equal to x multiplied by the derivative of ln of ln of x. Now take note that in here, this is in the form of ln of u, wherein u would be the whole ln of x. So if we're going to use the formula, we now have derivative with respect to x of u, which is the ln of x, all over u, which is ln of x, plus the natural logarithm of the natural logarithm of x multiplied by the derivative of x, which is equal to one. So solving further, we now have x multiplied by the derivative of ln of x with respect to x, so that is 1 over x all over ln of x plus ln of ln of x. Now x in here will cancel out, thus in this term, this would now be equal to 1 over ln of x plus ln of ln of x. And if we're going to make these two terms as a single term, the LCD would be the natural logarithm of x. So this would now be 1 plus the natural logarithm of x multiplied by ln of ln of x. 
Alright, so this is dy over dx all over y. Now, solving for dy over dx, we're going to multiply both sides by y. So the left side would now be dy over dx, and this is now equal to y, multiplied by 1 plus ln of x, multiplied by ln of ln of x, all over ln of x. Now, y, alright, so y is equal to ln of x raised to x. So if we're going to go back here, the given would be ln of x raised to x. Therefore, this can be written as the natural logarithm of x raised to x multiplied by 1 plus ln of x multiplied by ln of ln of x all over the natural logarithm of x. And since ln of x in here and we have ln of x in here, we can also use the loss of exponent, so we can write this as ln of x raised to x minus 1 multiplied by 1 plus ln of x multiplied by ln of ln of x. So this is now dy over dx. And that's how we solve problems involving derivatives of exponential functions in which a variable is raised to a variable exponent. Alright, so if we're going to recall or if we're going to summarize, we're just going to take the natural logarithm on both sides until the variable exponent is brought down before differentiating.